Hi, I'm Tanuja Ingele from Nutanix. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of managing, creating, importing and exporting OVAs on Nutanix's native hypervisor AHV. OVAs or Open Virtual Appliance are open, secure, portable and hypervisor agnostic standard for packaging and distributing virtual machines or software. On Nutanix's AHV, OVAs can be managed using the Prism Central interface. From the Prism Central homepage, select Virtual Infrastructure and go to OVAs. This is the landing page which lists all the OVAs that are present on your clusters that are managed by this PC. You can also upload an OVA from this page. Clicking on Upload OVA presents you two options. One, you can upload from your local file or computer or the other from an external URL or a web hosting server. Let's select the URL option and upload a Bitdefender OVA by providing the URL and selecting Upload. This will submit an upload task in the background. If the upload process gets interrupted due to say a network, disk, network error or a system error, this feature will let you resume the upload at a later time when your network connection is back. Now select an uploaded OVA and you can now deploy it as a virtual machine on this cluster. Select Deploy as a VM, rename the OVA VM, configure the CPUs and say the memory, select Next, configure the networking and disks. If this VM is part of any categories, you can now tag this VM uh, to those categories that are created on this cluster. Selecting the time zone, this feature also lets you customize this virtual machine. Uh, if it is a say a Windows VM, you can maybe inject a sysprep script, script or if it's a Linux VM, you can inject say a cloud in its script. Review all the VM configuration and select launch. This will create a virtual machine on your cluster. A task will be submitted to create a virtual machine out of this. This virtual machine will now appear in the VM's listing page on Prism Central. You can also export a native HV virtual machine as an OVA file. For that, go to the VM's page, select the virtual machine, clicking on action, and select export as OVA. Configure the name and the disk format. It supports QCOW2 and VMDK export and select export. This will create an OVA. Going back to the OVA page, we should be able to see a Bitdefender OVA once the task is complete. Other actions that are available and supported on OVA are to download the OVA to a local file or rename or completely delete it. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, go to the Nutanix AHV Mission Control website. Thank you.